<laughs> now it's time for this motherfucker. So, Akmo, you love to hate him. He is a definitely honest businessman. I forgot to put the big light on. Hold on a second. There we go. Now hopefully you can see his eyes a little better. No. You really can't, can you? Well, anyway. He definitely has them. They're just lost as they are as black as his soul. Anyway. Uh, he is a totally honest businessman who sells comet balls, much like this one, to the good sports people of Pokoro, as you can see. Totally genuine, 100% legitimate rock. Absolutely nothing the matter with... <clears throat> Just pretend... Pretend you didn't see that. Pretend you did not see that. <sighs> anyway, so... Who is Akmo? Uh, he was part of an elaborate scheme involving prophecy in um, the Metro New Era to trick everyone. Basically, it's part of a sort of gambit pile up to trick uh, Makuda into thinking that Matora and other than the ones that were actually going to become Toa were going to become Toa so that stuff could happen. Um, that was the whole thing. He was kind of a dick back then. And then during transportation to Mata Nui, his uh, Matoran sphere fell off the boat. And Makuta got to him and told him he'd been abandoned and recruited him as an inside man. Where he committed such nefarious deeds as uh, selling poisoned footballs. Not really sure how it ties into his grander scheme, to be honest. I mean, Makuta may have chosen kind of... Uh, he may have made a bad call with this one. He just chose some random merchants. As you can see, he's wearing a black Kanoe Row that's been 3D printed by, I believe, uh, the models by Vaki6. Uh, this one is not on Thingiverse, but they're on Shapeways. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, I got a hold of the final base by messaging him and asking him, hey, are you willing to sell me the STL file for this rather than me buying a print? Just so I can print uh, a couple for myself. And yeah, he was a good guy. Good guy. Definitely recommend. He has a bunch of other mask files, basically they're on Shapeway so you can get metal versions, which is cool as heck, and I might actually do at some point. Anyway, accessories then. A little unorthodox, but here's the phone case. So you take whatever the heck this is, I think it's some kind of boat thing, and you attach a black clip to one end. And then you try and remember how the rest of this goes. Right, okay. Uh, cone goes on the end here. And then this boy goes under there. Little rope piece. And you can probably guess what this is. Yeah, you want that pointing upwards just because the next thing you attach is a pneumatic T. Little sub assembly consisting of a 2x2 two two tile with a stud in the middle and one of these uh, flat bottom boys. That's a flat bottom boy also described that now. There is no junk in his trunk whatsoever. Anyway, uh, that goes on to the outside. Then onto the inside goes a hollow stud, followed by one of these, a uh, stud with a bar. It just plugs on like that, and then one of these, and Akmo has now gone fishing, which is yeah entirely in character. Once you uh, figure out that he is the evil merchant towards mm -hmm. the in the Matanui online game, he then vanishes from his stall and leaves a sign that translates as gone fishing that uh, I'll include an image of, should I remember to, here. So, I couldn't resist giving, the, giving him a fishing rod. You know, sometimes you just gotta. So then, uh, size comparison. Here he is with a pair of bunny slippers, but as you can see, rather big for him. However, he can almost wear them. Almost. Okay, shaky cam mode, as you can see. He technically has one foot in each, but he's not going anywhere fast. 
So, let's take him out of the slippers. Bring these back out of shot and bring in uh, his fellow villagers. So here we have Huki, who he sold a poison football to, and Hafu, who I'm not sure who he interacted with, but who probably dislikes him anyway just on principle because he's Akmo. Continuing his story, uh, he is appointed an honorary Turaga of Metru Nui by Makuta. Or well, by Makuta Taridax when he takes over the Great Spirit robot, so. No, he knows full well it's not how Turaga work. He's kind of semi-exiled on Spheris Magna. I'm not sure what his deal is there. So what will I do with him in future? Redemption arc. That's the big thing. I would have him become a Shadow Tower, but against his will, more or less. And he would join a team of uh, other kind of existing characters. Personally, I would also include... Uh, Maku and Kapura on this team. Along with... Uh, I've done some thinking about this. Garen, the leader of the Villainui Resistance Force. Um, Solek from... Uh, Carl Nui. This mm -hmm. his past relationship with Takua. And... Uh, Domino's has emailed me to say that I have a coupon. How kind of you, Domino's, to interrupt filming. Anyway. And uh, ideally a new character, probably from Element, hasn't really been shown. Just like, as an easy onboarding point for new fans that aren't after trolling through at that point in ten years of history. To know who everyone is. So. Uh, that has been Akmo. He has been a awful bastard man and I have been Lucas Bilbs this has been Matara Mondays and you have potentially been liking, commenting and or subscribing I can't tell, I'd appreciate it I'm not going to force you to the algorithm likes it but do we want to feed the algorithm or do we want to go counterculture today, I vote counterculture don't like this, don't comment and don't subscribe, that'll show the bastards